Welcome to video 17 of series 3 and in this video I'll show you how to use add force. So as you saw in the previous video the grenade just drops in front of the player so now it's time to propel it. Alright so I'll go ahead and open up the throw grenade script and it's pretty simple. Uh, I know that it has a rigid body already so the prefab itself it has a rigid body on it. So I'm going to access the rigid body. I'm going to use get component, rigid body, then add force. So if I go back and come here, I can then say go dot get component rigid body dot add force. And I'll go through that again. So there's a couple of uh, arguments it can take. Uh, so I'll, I'll define the vector 3 force is basically a direction and the power of the force as well uh, is what you input there. So I'm going to do it that way. I want to say um, my transform dot forward. So I want it to propel. Uh, so when the uh, grenade is launched, I want it to propel in the direction uh, of the weapon. So I'm saying my transform dot forward and I'll multiply it by some uh, propulsion value. So I'll put in here private float propulsion force and I'll try start with maybe 30 something like that. Actually better than that. I could make it a public variable. Yeah I'll do that instead. I'll just type it in the inspector. Alright, so coming back here, propulsion force. Alright, and then the type of force mode. So there's a couple of types, uh, whether I'm applying an acceleration or a continuous force or an impulse, which is a sudden application of force and then nothing, or an immediate change to the velocity. The type that I'm after is an impulse. It's a sudden uh, applied force and then it isn't applied afterwards. All right, and uh, that is pretty much it. I'll now go over to the weapon itself where the script is attached. All right, and I'll type in here my propulsion force, so say 30. Okay, now I'll hit play. Let's wait for the welcome message to go. And yeah, there we go. You can see that it is working. In fact, maybe it's working too well. But anyway, you know what? I think I think it needs to be heavier. I think the grenades need to be heavier. I think they're too light. So I'm going to set the mass to 10. I've gone to the prefab, setting it to 10. All right. And I think it needs a bit of drag too. I want to put in here like maybe 0.1 as well. All right. All right. So now it barely goes anywhere. Right. Just dropping in front of the player. Okay. So that means I need to increase uh, the propulsion force to say 200 probably since I did it times 10 I probably should have done times 10 but maybe it's shooting too far yeah and that that actually feels all right and I can increase the mass of the uh, grenade in fact you know I may want to uh, increase the mass of the grenade uh, later just so that when it hits stuff just its physical mass will cause other rigid body game objects to get pushed by it but I'll show you in not too long another um, unity function called add explosion force you would, you would see it come up I'll show you how to use that to simulate like explosion uh, sort of effects so that way you can make like lots of game objects just burst upwards and outwards which is pretty cool. Okay, well, I think that's it for this. In the next video, I might show you how to detect collisions. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and see you then.